Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and as you can see by the title I'm gonna start talking to you guys about times and dates. So one time I went on a date with this chick and she had a huge I'm just kidding, not those kind of dates and times. I'm talking about the type of data whenever we work with dates such as birthdays in Excel. So before I get started showing you guys a bunch of cool stuff that you can do we need to understand one extremely important concept and this doesn't only apply, apply to Excel but also computers in general and that's this computers have no concept of time they're not human beings all a computer is is pretty much just a really fancy and actually really powerful calculator so computers Excel especially is really good at working with numbers crunching numbers but behind the scenes whenever we enter a date it's always taking that date and converting it to a number so even when we you know type some time in here eventually and I'll show you guys the different ways that you can you know format your time but it's always gonna convert it to a number so remember that and actually this is kinda confusing at first because you're like alright if it's taking the dates I type in and always changing it to some random number that I can work with it's probably gonna be really confusing but it's not because whenever you wanna perform calculations like subtracting dates from one another for example if you wanna calculate the age of something you would subtract two dates from one another um, it, it makes a lot of sense once you understand that concept so enough about you and me rambling on I sound like kind of a some kind of hippie talking about time for the last two minutes but let's go ahead and get started and uh, just keep that in the back of your head because you'll see when it comes into play later on so the first thing that we have to take note of is if computers don't have any sense of time then when did time begin for this computer well whoever made Excel they just picked a random point in time so whenever you type 1 as a date this is January 1st 1900 so this is what one means in Excel and if you don't believe me check this out type one into a cell right click it and hit format cells and convert it to a date hit OK and look at what it does one one nineteen hundred so remember the number one always resembles January 1st 1900 now the number three if we did the same thing convert that to a date as well this is January 3rd 1900 so one's the first three's the third so on and so forth so that's um, pretty much how Excel is gonna handle dates each integer starting at January 1st 1900 resembling one day now if you ever want to enter the current date then what you can do is you can hold down control on your keyboard in this then press the semicolon and it enters the current date so today whenever I'm making this tutorial it's 11 5 2014 it's actually um, 2 52 a.m. because I couldn't sleep and I was like you know what might as well make some stinking tutorials so that is the current date and if you guys were curious if you ever want to know what this is in Excel time let's go ahead and convert that to a number so format cells, I really wish that pop up in the middle of my screen. And let's just convert that to a number and hit OK. So according to Excel, the date is 441,948 days. Now what this means is since January 1st, 1900, 41,948 days has passed. Now another interesting thing that I want to point out is, let me drag this down just so I have a copy, is this. You see that Excel also throws in a decimal place whenever it's working with dates? Well, if you're wondering, what's the point of that? Kind of decimal point, decimal, what's the point of that? I don't know, it's probably a joke in there somewhere, but I'll worry about it later. Whenever you have a fraction of a day, this is how Excel treats time, since that's pretty much what time is, like noon, that would be half a day, 12 hours. So if I ever did something like, I'll just do, um, well, I'll just show you guys noon. So whenever we want to work with time, it's 41948.5. And actually, let me copy that over. So this might be a better demonstration. So let me format this to a, um, I'll just do it to a date with a time. 
So check this out. So whenever we have half a day, it means literally half the day, as in 12 hours. If we ever were to do something like, um, like 0.75, that would of course be 18 hours. 12 plus 6, that's how you come up with that. Now one more boring thing that I need to talk to you guys about before we start learning about the cool date and time functions is one other weird rule, or it's not really a rule, it's just something weird that Excel does that is not intuitive at all and it's probably going to confuse you guys if you ever see it, and that's this. So type in some date like, I'll type in Christmas, so 12, um, 25, I'll say it's like, um, I don't know, 84, oops. So 12, 25, 84. So Christmas in 1984, hit enter. Alright, it filled in that 19 for us. It knew we were talking about 1984, pretty cool. But now I want to enter a date Christmas, so 12, 25. Um, let's say we're working with 1917. So I just type 17 in there and hit enter. Oh, what the heck. Alright, so I just hit 84 here and it changed it to 1984 but when I hit 17 it changes it to 2017 so when do I know okay is it gonna put 19 or 2000 um it actually this is one of the weird things Excel does whenever you're entering a year always write it as four digits pretty much because Excel is weird and I think the threshold is 30 Anything above 30, then it's going to convert to 1900. Anything below 30, it's going to convert to a 2000 date. So, again, one other thing if you're like trying to autofill stuff and it's giving you the wrong data, make sure you always use four digits for years. So, now that we got all the stupid stuff out of the way, like I said, in the next tutorial, we're going to be learning about the useful stuff you can do with dates and times, um, kind of calculations and functions and awesome stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.